the commitment of the present government towards improving traffic management and transportation plays out here as the state governor flags off the commencement of civil works on the Red Line Rail project captured under the Lagos Rail Mass Transit. The first phase of the project, when completed, is expected to commute up to 500,000 people on a daily basis. The Red Line project is a 37-kilometer rail project from Agbadu to Marina. The project will be implemented in phases, three phases to be precise, but this that we are here for is the first phase of the project, and it is from Agbadu to Igbo with an extension to Ido so that we can stable our rolling stock. So the program will be obviously for the design, construction, and passenger operations, and we intend for the passenger operations to commence the last quarter of 2022. This groundbreaking ceremony for the Lagos Rail Mass Transit Red Line project has also reaffirmed the sincerity and commitment of Mr. Babajide Sonwumu's administration to give a robust traffic management and transportation system to our dear state of Lagos. Apparently, the official commencement of civil works on this Red Line project speaks to the first pillar of the theme's agenda, which is traffic management and transportation. It also confirms the administration's commitment to building enduring transportation infrastructure, which has great impact on the state's economy. We we'll begin another journey into making our state a competitive one as we further our commitment to building an enduring infrastructure for our transportation system. Our commitment to develop an efficient and sustainable transportation system that will improve mobility, promote economic growth, and enhance the living condition of our people. Since transportation is the backbone of any economy, it is without any means that we need to continue to invest in our transport infrastructure so that our people can meet their daily targets and their economic aspiration. The benefits the completion of this project bring to residents is huge as it is integrated with major routes in the metropolis. This plan is founded on a number of imperatives which include an increase in transport choices for our citizens, which will make trans transport system an integrated one, which we believe will be attractive, will be convenient, will be affordable, will be accessible, and reduce urban transportation challenges, and by extension reduce emission, will improve the quality of life, will reduce pressure on our road network. This particular station, which has been appropriately named Ikeja train center also has facility for park and ride, commercial spaces, and also will take the Oshodi train stations with integrated ones and the Oshodi bus terminal and a provision for adequate parking and commercial enterprise like I mentioned. There are over 260 properties affected by this project. The state government factors this in and presents compensation checks to the affected persons.